hello youtube hello the world hello everyone um welcome back to this other video where we continue our exploration of uh of getting a potential project into uh from freecad into revit so this particular project is a uh, project that i did uh I, it's a competition that i did i think i mentioned it in the first ever video that i made uh, about freecad concerning uh the, the beginning of the tutorials uh working in free in 2d uh, the very first one uh, you know somewhere along the lines i was mentioning that i was going to do a project for a competition and so uh, this is in fact the entire project that i uh, completed and i never really uh, felt the reason or the time to um, to present it uh, to the youtube audience or whoever is watching um, so but here it is and uh the, the project i picked this one because uh this one was completely designed in freecad and um and so everything's modeled the the way i modeled here is i used a lot of the basic 3d modeling techniques that i used in uh in the, the third uh mo modeling tutorial modeling in, in 3d uh, basic 3d modeling rather so but it also has a lot of complex uh shapes like let's say uh the roof as you can see here with all this uh, uh hold on it's it's a little bit slow with all these potholes that you see in the roof here um it it, it has a lot of these complex shapes that uh, you see here and um and all of these bricks that constitute the wall are individual bricks right single unit bricks so you can actually uh get some kind of quantity value uh, let's see uh, let me use the start survey and if i just click there i can get the area i can get the volume as well so i can get the volume of a lot of these things um including the areas and their lengths and things like that so um close that so uh so that means that there's a lot of information there's a lot of uh, basic unit of modeling uh everything is very precise so the idea is how does this translate into 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 freecad into revit rather and um so to do that you have to select everything here and i'm going to show you a little bit uh what this project is made out of so that you're going to have an appreciation of um of what's involved here okay so uh, let me first of all close all the folders okay so you have uh the wall surrounding here it's made out of bricks so we're gonna open that you have the top plate which you have there and this is it and you have uh the bricks itself which make up the wall right there okay playing with the on off messes a little bit with the program um so i'm just going to quickly uh select that turn the entire thing off and now what i'm left with is the blocks themselves which you see there so each block is made of um, of an array of objects um, like your row so I've organized them in rows so there's about 19 rows all total so you have row 1 which is basically all the bricks in row 1 including all the, you know, all the trim bricks 
so that's all the bricks in row one and so you have 19 of these rows so you literally have to select all of them all of these objects like this so press control and then uh, shift control shift control shift control shift and click so you get the idea so you have to select everything in the project and then you have to select everything in the building as well so from the roof uh, you've got the furnitures you've got the kitchen stuff you've got the windows you've got the doors and then you get the walls the columns foundations and so on and so on so control shift 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 and so on and so on and then obviously you simply do your export ifc which i did save that in project 4 and i'm not going to do that because it's a pretty sizable content um so it took a while to upload and so here's the revit file itself so let me show you the floor plan so this is the floor plan this is the way it imported in term in, in plan mode uh let's go to hidden so as you can see uh all the bricks did import pretty well uh, they were everything is it's, it's just perfect it's just perfect so you know so obviously if you're the kind of person who likes to come and do your annotation maybe in revit or that's the only thing you know how to use you can obviously come here and and uh, and take advantage of revit's powerful annotation capabilities uh you could you know simply do things like that um now as you can see uh you've got all these other furnitures that seem to appear with all these crazy lines go to view and then th th thin lines so you've got all these crazy lines everywhere making things a little bit like you know almost as if it's a bit tedious to to see what's going on so let's go to the 3d so i'm going to show you uh let's bring out the section box okay so let's pull that here go to the side view bring that like this like this okay so let's pretend that um we wanted to find that we you know we we were not satisfied with let's say this sink so we can obviously select that sink go to edit and select that object and then do a partial explode and then it's going to just uh, simplify the shape like this and then we can do, just save that and apply material uh, at this stage so now if you go to edit um, you can now apply any material that you want to it so close that so I can take that as well do the same thing edit and select that do a partial explode and it simplifies the shape a little bit um, I can select this counter sink edit select that and do a partial explode and finish so you can fairly easily simplify a few complex shapes this way so you don't have to deal with too many um, 
objects so select that edit uh, select that and then partial explode finish well that didn't do much of a job let's try this one edit uh, partial explode nah it didn't work for that one so it doesn't always work so yes okay let's try this one edit um, explode partial explode okay for that one it did work and let's try that leg edit and partial explode okay so cleaned it up somewhat nicely now I'm a bit I'm wondering what the complete explode will do um, so let's select that and then tell it to full explode okay full explode does almost the same thing okay let's try this one edit and push explode okay finish that clean it up pretty nicely and let's see what happens to the legs as well edit should explode and it didn't work so there's some certain shapes that it doesn't like to to hear about um, and I think earlier I tried it on to the, the the roof as well so it, it did clean up the roof pretty well um, another thing to notice is that um, for the shapes that do import pretty well it allows you to edit them so let's say you know I wanted to edit this window I can edit this window anytime I want uh, you know I can stretch that like that right um, or I can edit the extrusion extrusion so for the clean lines it does um, allow you to the ability to modify uh, whatever it is um, let's say this bricks for example see okay let's select this one and then I can say edit in place so edit extrusion so the way it converted it is is that is simply um, it simply drew it simply converted it into shape where it can easily uh, extrude and modify that uh, which is a clean import so this is what allows the project to be so smooth and clean so basically what this means is that working um, between these programs in this way can somewhat be very smooth uh, at least at this stage already it you know you can do some pretty serious work uh, perhaps in the future it's going to be much much smoother than this so this is all I wanted to show you for this project um, uh, because this workflow was a complete free CAD modeling into into uh, Revit, so this is the workflow that you would use uh, to get your your, your project working.